And what's up my cancers? Welcome to BMHP Table Etiquette. Please excuse my voice. I am still trying to adjust in this um, morning hour. <laughs> so please forgive me. You know, Cancer, I'm being um, asked to bring this up again. I was, um, since the death of the queen, rest her soul, I was, um, I was led to like research the different um, princesses and so on and so forth. So I was researching Princess Diana and uh, Princess Marco, even though she's a duchess, but whatever. But um, I was led to research. And you know, one of the things I found out is that, damn, Princess Diana was in a third party relationship. Like how you gonna be the damn princess, right? And uh, have to deal with a third party situation. And what's crazy about it is Prince Charles end up marrying that damn third party person. What's her name? Camilla. And now Camilla is queen consort. It's like, what the hell happened there? Like, there's no way that she would have been queen of Princess Diana. And Prince Charles never had to deal with the third party situation. But for some reason, I was asked to bring that on and bring that up. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, jump into this read. See what Beloved has for you. Beloved, what's going on with cancer and cancer person? What does cancer need to know, please? The five of cups. The nine of wands. And as I lay the cards out. The, the color gets a little darker. I don't know what's going on with my camera. It's weird. But you got the moon, the ten of wands, the queen of pentacles, the six of wands, the seven of pentacles, death, you, the king of cups, the five of wands, justice, in the eight of cups wow you know cancer i don't know i don't know if you feel like you lost this person or this person feels like they lost you i mean someone's actually holding like a funeral precision in their heart and in their spirit for whoever it is that they're not with i mean this person feels very hurt very lost very alone is kind of what I'm getting to it seems like I don't know if you planned on overcoming some type of hurdle with the person and having like this new beginning this new victory or something like that but it seems like whatever happened it didn't work out it seems like there was something that that was hidden that continues to like plague you plague this person like this person feels a lot of times that they they carry a lot they deal with a lot in this relationship but they only do it for you and no one else like they wouldn't do it for anyone else you could be dealing with the earth sign cancer um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn but I see there's someone who in the midst of a crowd feels very lonely. Like, I don't know why I feel like this must be your person's energy cancer. But like, no one can penetrate their heart or something but you. Like, they don't care like how beautiful, how handsome, how, um, how, um, rich. How poor like I don't think anyone piques their interest but you like this person they want to like I don't know why I'm picking up that queen and king energy again or that prince energy rather but there's a crown here and I feel like this person like that's for you like you're the only one that they feel like deserve that crown or something like I'm getting that Alicia Keys song some people want it all but I don't want nothing at all if it ain't you baby if I don't have you baby 
So some people want diamonds, some just want everything, but everything means nothing if I don't have you. And you know, in comparison, um, cancer, when you're in their life, I feel like this is kind of how they feel, right? Like everything is fruitful, is prosperous. Um, you know, things are going as it should, right? Like they feel beautiful. But when you're gone, this is how they feel. Like everything means nothing. Like it's just this, this lonely energy, I guess. But let's see here. There's that crown that I was speaking in reference to for the King of Cups energy. I feel like, um, so we got the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So it's, it's a, um, a divine couple here. But notice, the Queen doesn't have on a crown. Only the King has on a crown. And that's why I feel like whoever's the masculine energy in this situation that crown is being saved or reserved for you only you know like um going back to that story about um prince charles i guess now king charles right um you know he dealt with all type of women but he couldn't marry any of them right like there was only like one that will be fit for a prince and a future king and so on and so forth and who would ever thought it would be Camilla or whatever her name is but um I feel like if the king of, of cups has his crown on that crown like is reserved for that queen but I feel like for whatever reason this person won't put that crown on something because something is missing in their life they're not like they're not wearing their crown right now you know cancer this energy of this five of what is it the five of ones what i'm picking up with this energy is not only is someone trying to guard the entrance of their heart but the, as far as the childish energy the childish behavior um the childish things that go on in this relationship i feel like someone here has a lot of passion for one person but it's like all of these um I hate to call them this, but I think this is what the kings and queens call them. Um, commoners. I was going to say peasants. But like these commoners are constantly trying to get at someone. But I don't think that person is interested in them. But you know what? There's going to be someone that's either bitter, angry, mad, or upset. That will try to do some harm. To someone because they don't want them these one two three four these four like little i want to say children this is their energy showing up but these are the actual people the little four people that's in um whoever whoever this is cancer this could be you this could be your person but these people are not happy about that shit at all and they'll try to do some harm to someone because of that you know it's weird You know, you know how, um, I don't know why I'm getting these love stories. You know how in the Titanic, like, um, Rose was supposed to marry the rich guy until she met Leonardo DiCaprio. I forget his name in that movie. Oh, Jack. Before she married Jack and like people, people were like coming against them for that. You know, like they had to run off and be chased away by like, um, her security and his his minions or whatever so I feel like it's that type of energy whoever this is and this what's this and the seven of pentacles energy 
they they may be um, getting more close to their children or something like that or they may hold like a place in their heart a four person because you know remember I said when they're not with you this is kind of the energy that they're in but if you look at the, this card it's like that deaf energy back here in the background but I'm not sure if this person is pregnant or someone's pregnant or someone something's gonna give this person a more fulfilling life because like I said there's only you there's only one peach in that garden somebody could be from Atlanta here but there's um only one peach in her garden and she's been holding on to that peach whatever that peach symbolizes for um for you or this person can cancer this is kind of the outcome after these people try to do whatever there are some people that's against you loving this person or something cancer there are some people that don't want to see you guys together Let's see. Let's see what else does Cancer need to know. I feel like Cancer. It is so interesting because now the Queen of Pentacles, she got all kind of um fruits and vegetables right she got bananas she got apples oranges peaches she got all kind of stuff i'm not sure if this is this person that was in this garden that that won't put her crown on for whatever reason i don't know if there's like i don't know if this person like heals the childlike energy and these people or something I'm trying to get that drift cancer and see like why this childlike energy is showing up with this queen of um, pentacles well, let's see what else does cancer need to know what else does cancer need to know please what else does cancer need to know please Alrighty, so we have the Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Hierophant, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, Temperance, the Star, the King of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the hermit falling right next to that queen of pentacles so you could be dealing with the virgo and a six of pentacles with the sun at the bottom of the deck something has been revealed or will be revealed also what i'm noticing is that there's an emperor here there's a king of pentacle here and there's a queen of pentacles here right one of the things that i can applaud you guys on is the fact that there's no low vibrational people here or low vibrational people that you're dealing with everyone is showing up as kings and queens right I feel like and then there's an emperor showing up here but I feel like cancer you guys had some type of argument some type of fight somebody was um hiding some somebody was on some bs okay not being real not being honest regarding you know this relationship or or maybe they were hiding their emotions hiding their feelings or something like that but i see it had a person stressed out because there was nothing more that someone wanted than just to have like this beautiful um relationship with someone right 
I feel like whoever this Queen of Wands energy is, this may be this Queen of Pentacles or this can be an entirely new energy. I'm not picking up any third party energy here. Let me just... Yeah, I'm not picking up any third party energy. This Queen... You know, this queen is an interesting queen, and I'm going to tell you why. This, um... This forest space or whatever, it's like this queen set that shit on fire for some reason. Like, they got upset, they got angry, they got mad about something or whatnot. And they exuded their position of power. Or took their power back. Maybe in order to have that energy. This death energy. And to start over. To believe in something. Because in this, in this relationship. I feel like cancer. There was somebody or someone. That was very unbalanced. Or unbalancing the situation. It was like some major shifts. And major changes that was going on. Because someone didn't have. Or don't have. Faith in this relationship. When you look at them, the temperance card and the um and the star card, you see one person that's pouring into like juggling the energy, right? But the other por person's like pouring the energy out. Someone didn't believe or don't believe in this connection, right? It could be why we see a king. Of pentacles and an emperor coming out, right? Because if this person, if these are two different people, I would wanted to get it as it was one. But I'm being told that this is two different people. This is because someone didn't believe in this connection. Now, Cancer, if you're a Cancer Feminine, this could be you. This could be someone you're dating or someone you were with or something like that. But it doesn't end well. Or it didn't end well with this person. I feel like... It could have been a previous energy and that's the reason why someone is maintaining this nine of wands energy. I feel like, hold on, I feel like this queen got off her damn throne, right? And she put herself in this energy. Is that why the crown is still sitting there? Like this queen has her crown on. But I feel like with these energy, this is a queen that dethroned herself. For some reason kind of like you know i have to be honest kind of like princess diana like after after you know um prince charles was cheating on her or whatnot and they had a divorce or got a divorce it's like um it's like she was kind of in this energy kind of law she didn't have her protection she didn't have security she didn't have any of that and that's why she was ended up in the situation she ended up in right but whoever this person is, which I feel like is this Queen of Wands, take it how it resonates. I feel like they they went into this Hermit mode type energy. This definitely, you definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. I think someone learned the lesson of not giving more than you're given in a relationship. You know what's crazy? And I'm just realizing this. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, this is the one that gives to more than just the person that's coming into this reading. For some reason, this King of Pentacles feels like obligated to have their cake and eat it too. Type energy. But it's something sneaky about this King of Pentacles. 
at the bottom of both these cards down there is a squirrel but that squirrel has changed colors and it tells me that this person is like a chameleon and they change colors they switch up so somebody could have switched up on you cancer or something like that where are we at 19 minutes let me go ahead and um I want to make the reading too long. Let me go ahead and get a message for you. Close out this reading. But yeah, I feel like... I feel like someone didn't understand this connection. And it really pains the other person or something. Like, I don't even think this person's awakened enough to this connection. But either way, what message do you have for cancer, beloved? Oh, snap. Is this the person you're supposed to marry? Because we do have a king of pentacles, queen of pentacles on the board. I'm just saying, marriage is a union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest ones. You know what I feel like with this wedding card? You ready for this, Cancer? And I'm going to leave it right here. You guys, for some reason, whoever this person is, if you guys are married physically, you're married in the spirit. But either way, Cancer, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about the reading. And I'll see you next time. Take care.